Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Maniacal Mini. Today we are continuing our Night Haunt series. Uh, this episode will be focusing on the flesh and the bone portion of uh, our, the entirety of the army. So we are going to be focusing on our contrast first. That's going to be able to bring your models to the table quicker. And then after that we're going to step it up in subsequent steps, adding a little bit more depth and detail into each thing as we go along. Then those are going to be for your more um, HQ models, your leadership, stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. I want to say again thank you so much for the love on the last video. Um, I really appreciate it. It makes doing what I do worth it. Um, just to know that there are some people out there excited. Even if it's just one person, that's enough for me. Um, it is it is really cool. So I want to thank you guys so much for the love again. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, as we go along, you'll notice um, I'm going to start out with the paints that were used in this video, um, some of the equipment that I used, stuff like that. We're going to do that every video for the um, paints that pertain to that particular series. Um, series video, sorry. And then um, from that point, we're just going to keep going through. Uh, we got a couple more videos left to put out um, and then we're going to focus on one big special video at the end of the series um, to kind of help tie it all in together for everybody so um, I hope you guys stick around for that because it's going to be really cool at least I think so um, and then like I said we'll uh, we'll get started on this flesh and bone uh, we'll move on to a couple more after that and that'll wrap up this series for us so I want to thank you guys again and see you at the end of the video All right, everybody, so let's get started here. So we are taking some zombie flesh. That is from scale 75. Um, as you can see, I'm just gonna do the entirety of the skin in that color. Um, so I'm just gonna be putting it in and making sure that it's not pooling up in any other recesses or anything like that. Uh, making sure we get a nice even coat. If you notice that um, you aren't getting a nice even coverage with it, go ahead and just do two coats of it. Um, we're not too worried about it getting too dark or anything like that. So we'll, we're gonna enhance this look um, in another couple steps. The goal that we're reaching is we want the contrast method, ghost flesh, to look extremely similar to our other method that we're gonna do a little bit later in the video um, so hopefully you'll notice that they kind of match up towards the end but um, let's pick it up in another step in a sec So the next color I'm going to be using is called Dragon's Blood. That is also from Scale 75's Instant Color Range. Um, I did have to thin this one down a little bit with water just because it was super intense red. Um, and I don't want it to pop out that much. Um, I just want a little bit of, you know, that rosy tone uh, to show through underneath that green flesh. Um, just to make it look like there is still a little bit of, um, you know, blood plump pumping through uh, some of those veins and stuff like that. Uh, so that'll help sell that effect really really well, um, you know, just to add a little bit more color and depth to the actual skin tone itself. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to keep pin washing in between the crevices of all the details on the skin um, with that dragon's blood just so we can kind of build up that effect. And the final step for our contrast method is going to be thinning down some Drakenhof Nightshade from Games Workshop. Uh, that is going to be their blue shade. Um, it is super, super intense if you do it right from the pot. So that's why I'm thinning it down with a little bit of water, just so we can kind of get that um, bluish tint to the skin, um, kind of like that cold undead flesh. Um, you should still see the red um, that we put down underneath it from that dragon's blood. Um, we don't want to, we want to make sure that it's thin enough where it doesn't cover that up because we still want to be able to see that underneath but we want to kind of tint down the skin a little bit and kind of add that mottled um, kind of dirty unnatural flesh look um, so we're gonna be moving into the full painting method um, right now so just bear with me for that and we'll get started Okay, so we're going to hop into our regular painting method now for the uh, skin tone on these ghosts. So I'm going to start out with Green Stuff World's Peccatum Flesh Wash. We're going to put that all over the skin first, uh, making sure that it doesn't pull up too much in any of those recesses, um, and making sure we get a nice even coverage over that entire skin, because this is going to set up those warm tones um, that we, the same situation that we had with the Dragon's Blood 
from scale 75 that we did we're gonna pin wash um, this is basically just doing that step first um, as far as the red flesh tones underneath um, and we're gonna be building up off on top of that um, so we want to make sure that this is a nice even coverage of that pectum flesh wash Okay, so for our next color here, we're going to be using a little bit of Gang Green, and that is from Green Stuff World as well. Um, it's kind of like a darker green skin tone. Um, it came in their Undead Flesh set. Um, so, you know, obviously you're supposed to build up through that set with the different colors, um, layering up as you go. So I'm just gonna take the Gang Green from that set. Um, and I'm also gonna take the Zombie Flesh from that set uh, that we're gonna be doing in a couple other steps um, to kind of enhance and build off of that transition. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm just sticking to the, um, you know, to the kind of most raised areas, um, adding it in. I'm leaving a lot of that um, red tone so that you can still see that underneath. Um, all the, you know, all the layers and stuff like that in the recesses, you'll still be able to see kind of let that reddy pinkish flesh tone um, that we did set up with the contrast method as well. Um, so it's gonna also maintain that look that we were going with with the other one. Um, so as we move into um, going through here, as you can see, I'm pulling back in that Drakenhof Nightshade. Um, again, it's still thinned down. Uh, this time I'm just giving it an all over wash. I'm, again, I'm leaving the recesses as that red, um, kind of pinkish flesh tone, just so we can have some a little bit of life left into it. But I want the rest to be cold and dead, um, a little bit mottled, a little bit gross looking. Um, so that's how we're going to achieve that effect is with that thinned down Drakenhof Nightshade. Um, we're just going to wash the whole thing but because it thinned it down, we're not gonna have to worry about it washing out any other colors, um, which is really good. So we're gonna leave that for this step now. I'm gonna let you guys finish watching this and then we're gonna pick it up with another layer step um, before we move into our bones. Okay, and now just for the final touches, we're just gonna be adding a little bit of um, spot highlighting on the utmost raised edges with that zombie flesh from Green Stuff World, um, just to further enhance that green, kind of dirty, nasty look. Um, but we don't wanna cover up everything that we did, um, especially with that watered down um, Trackenhoff Nightshade so that we can create that kind of bluish tone. We wanna keep a lot of that in there. So this paint that I'm using right now, the Zombie Flesh, I've thinned it down with a lot of water just so that it can um, go on more like a glaze than it would an actual layer paint. Um, and the reason for that is because, again, I wanna keep all those cool tones that we added. Um, I wanna keep the warm tones that we had deep underneath that. Uh, and the best way to do that is to make sure that paint's nice and thin. Um, but as you can see right here, this is the one that we did with our um, regular painting method. And then we also have the one that we did with our um, contrast paint. And the one that we did with our regular method is on the right hand side of the screen here, as you can see. The other one that we did with the contrast method is on the left hand side. Um, and as you can see, they are very similar in colors, which is really good. Okay, so starting out on our bone here, we are gonna be taking some pallid bone. That is from Army Painter Speed Paints. So I'm probably gonna be doing a separate video on them um, just to get like a, you know, everybody on the same page as far as like how I feel about them. Um, I, there are some colors I like, there's some colors I don't like, there's some things that I think they could change for the next one, um, and definitely some things that they should look into as far as, um, you know, bringing new colors and stuff like that to the line in the future. So um, I'll probably end up dropping a video at that at some point. I do have to make a vi another video about some new brushes that I received um, that are pretty dope. So we got some review videos coming as well as these um, tutorial videos. So we're just going to try and keep 
bringing new and fresh things into the fold um, as we keep going along here. But as you can see, um, I did bring in that Screaming Skull. That is from Games Workshop. I'm just hitting the utmost re uh, raised edges with that. Um, I want to stick to that because I don't want it to pull any further than that in the recesses because that pallid bone, um, once it gets into those recesses, it adds already that really, really nice dark brown, um, kind of rich bone color to it. So we just want to enhance off of that. Um, and the way that we're going to do that is with that Screaming Skull to add those little pops of almost pure whiteness. Um, not exactly pure white, but almost, you know, quite, quite possibly getting there. Um, so that is going to be the end of this video. Um, we do have a couple more that are coming out for this series. We're, the next one we're going to be focused on is the um, any cloth or leather and wood. Um, that is going to be the next video. Then we're going to focus on um, metallics and then weathering after that. Um, and then we're going to finish up, like I said, with one big final hurrah video uh, to kind of tie it all in together for everybody. Uh, so I do want to thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.